Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And today, I got a National League matchup, a classic National League matchup for you from 1994 is where we're going all the way back to. And it's going to be the Atlanta Braves of 1994 against the 1994 Pittsburgh Pirates. In fact, I think these two teams might have actually met in the playoffs that particular year. But uh, they uh, are going to be, uh, that's the matchup that we're going to have today. And uh, it's going to be the Atlanta Braves controlled by the computer. And I will take the Pirates. So as we look, uh, the uh, Braves will be sending Greg Maddox to the mound, the professor. And their lineup is going to be Dave Gallagher leading off and playing left field. Uh, Jeff Blauser will bat second and be at shortstop. Roberto Kelly plays center field, batting third. Fred McGriff, the crime dog, is going to be the cleanup hitter and playing first base. David Justice is batting in the fifth spot in right field. Terry Pendleton is the third baseman today and batting sixth. Then you got Javi Lopez, the catcher, batting seventh. Mark Lemke, second baseman, batting eighth, and of course Maddox in the ninth spot. For the Pirates, they're going to have Zane Smith on the mound today, and the lineup will be Garcia leading off and playing second base. Uh, uh, Bell, Jay Bell, will be the shortstop, batting second. Batting third, you got Andy Van Slyke, big star of the team at the time, playing center field. Uh, Clark is going to be in right field. Then Orlando Merced batting fifth and playing first base. Uh, Al Martin will be the left fielder batting sixth. And then my main man, Jeff King, batting seventh and playing third base. Don Slock, the catcher, is in the eighth spot in the lineup. And then Zane Smith. So let's get on with the game. And I am going to make sure that we do not have any sound. So let me just to check it out here. Sound. We are going to get rid of um, the sounds here so that they don't interfere. Uh, you know what? Dice and card sounds we can do. Crack of the bat we can do. Home run sound. Vendor PA sounds. No. And... Um, Let's see. And no crowd noise. All right. So there we go. We should be fine right now. You got Dave Gallagher leading off against our man Zane Smith. And that looks like it's going to be a pop up, pop up. And that's going to be an out for the first out. And Jeff Blauser is up the shortstop for the Atlanta Braves. And looks like he's going to ground out to Jay Bell. And that brings up Roberto Kelly, former Yankee. And Zane Smith, the left-hander, looks like he's going to get out of the first inning unscathed than he is. And there's Greg Maddox out there on the mound pitching to Carlos Garcia as a leadoff batter. And that is going to be a ground out to short. That brings up Jay Bell. Jay Bell with his uh, goggles on, his glasses there. <laughs> and he's going to rip it to right field and get on board with a single. And let me see if I can get him to steal. Maybe we can do that. Uh, nope. Reduces it to 30%. I'm not going to do that. And Andy Van Slyke is up and Andy Van Slyke gives this thing a ride maybe over Kelly's head maybe even for a home run but no over Kelly's head though and I am going to send the lead runner I'm going to gamble here and I'm going to send the trailing runner and we did not they threw him out at the plate so we got the man at third but we got two outs now with Dave Clark up so I gambled and I lost there. And there's a strikeout. So we come away with nothing. And Zane Smith back out to the mound. He'll deal to the crime dog, Fred McGriff. 
and he strikes out. So here we are in the top of the second. David Justice is the batter. David Justice is going to ground out here. And Terry Pendleton up for Atlanta with two down. Nobody on here in the second. And it looks like he's going to rip this thing for a double, at least a double. And that is exactly what he gets, and Javi Lopez is the batter. And he is going to ground out. Do, will we? Or hopefully, do, do we make the play? And we do. So, no runs for Atlanta. There we go to the bottom of the second, and Orlando Merced is the batter. Classic game from 1994, and is that a base hit? No, he's out. So, Al Martin is the batter. One down, nobody on, and he strikes out. And that brings up Jeff King. Loved Jeff King. He was one of my favorite players. I don't even know why. I, can't, I couldn't tell you why. But anyway, did he get a base hit? No. So, we come away with nothing, and Lemke is the batter against our man Zane Smith, who is going to go out there for the third. He's towing the rubber for the third inning. And why not? He's been pitching well so far, and that is going to be an out. King making the play. The throw over to Bursed. And then Maddox is the batter. So this is the pitcher, and yes, he strikes out, as most pitchers would. And that brings up Dave Gallagher. So we're back to the top of the order for Atlanta. And Dave Gallagher this time gets a base hit to left field, and he's aboard with Jeff Blauser up at the plate. And Blauser is going to strike out. No, no, he didn't. I thought he struck out, but no, I guess it was a pass ball. So now we've got a, another chance to strike him out. That might be a ground ball to King, though. And it is. And so Don Slott is leading off for us. Here in the bottom of the third, two hits for each team and no runs, no errors. And Slott is going to be out. Zane Smith is the batter. Let's see if Zane Smith can get a hold of something here. And he does. He hits it right up the middle. He's got a base hit. Nice. So Zane Smith is aboard with Garcia at the plate. And did he walk? Yes, he did. So Jay Bell is up. Now we got something cooking here against uh, the Professor Maddox. And, ooh, he rips it up the middle. Oh, uh, you know what? I got burned last time trying to do this. But I'm going to do it again. I am going to do it again. And I'm going to send the trailing runner again. And this time it works. So now we've got runners at second and third with one down in Vance, like the batter. And did he uh, work a walk? No, that was a, that was a, uh, a uh, pass ball. So we got two runs now. And it looks like maybe he can knock that run in. No. they I guess they were in close enough to um, stop the runner from advancing, and Dave Clark is the batter. And Dave Clark, is that going to be a base hit for him? No. But we got two runs, though. So Zane Smith, we gave him two runs, and he's going out there in the top of the fourth try to keep this game scoreless on the Atlanta side. And that looks like a fly ball out to Van Slyke that he should handle. And he does. And Fred McGriff is up. McGriff got out last time. He's 0 for 1 on the game. And he's 0 for 2 now as he struck out. And Dave Justice, who is also 0 for 1. A lot of these Atlanta Braves so far today are 0 for 1. That's going to be a ground ball to Garcia. And he does make the play. So Maddox is back out there here in the bottom of the fourth where we've got a two-run lead. And we are leading off with Merced. And Merced's out, so L. Martin is up. L. Martin looks like he's going to be, yep, he gets frozen. And that brings up Jeff King. 0 for 1 so far. And Jeff King gives the ball a ride, but it looks like it's going to be a fly out to left. And so we're going to the top of the fifth. 
with Terry Pendleton trying to break through on Zane Smith. That's a ground ball to second for an out, and he is injured and will miss the rest of the game. Javi Lopez is the next batter with one down here, nobody on. And is that an out? It is an out. And Mark Lemke, the second baseman for Atlanta, is the next batter with, and he's going to rip it to left field, so he's aboard. And that brings up the pitcher spot, Greg Maddox. He's given up two runs, and we're in the fifth, but they're going to let him hit. They are going to let him hit, and he rips it down the line. Man. I am going to stop the runner from advancing because we had a two-run lead. Let, let the run score and uh, hope that he doesn't let anybody else in, and he didn't. So Don Slot will face Maddox here. In the bottom of the fifth inning, the Pittsburgh fifth. Here we are in Three River Stadium, if you didn't notice. And that is going to be an out. Zane Smith is up after the strikeout of Slot. And it looks like maybe he's going to try to... He beat it out. Zane Smith is two for two today. He's one of our best hitters. He is the best hitter. And Garcia is up with one down. And now that's two down and Jay Bell. Well, Jay Bell, I guess, is the other great hitter that we've got because he's two for two as well. But he strikes out. So Smith back out to the mound here in the top of the sixth, facing Blouser, the leadoff hitter for Atlanta. And that is going to be a ground ball to third, it looks like, and it is an easy out. And Roberto Kelly is up with one man away. And he's going to rip it to left. So now they're starting to get some hits off of Zane Smith. They're starting to get to him now. McGriff, the crime puppy, is up. Kelly at first. And he strikes out. And that brings up David Justice. And we're going to throw for the runner, certainly, at 65%. Oh, man, and it went into the outfield. It was an error on slot, and now the runner is at third base. And he walked uh, Justice. And so here is Bill Pakoda. And I am going to throw to second to try to get this guy. I'm going to try to get the man at second. There's no reason. 15%? That's a Yeah, there we go. So we still got the 2-1 to one lead. Yeah, it, the computer tried to goad me into not throwing the runner out at second base when they only had a 15% chance of being safe. Van Slyke is the bat. Oh, no, Pakota was batting for the, uh, uh, the, person, the guy that got injured. So I forget his name. But anyway, that is going to be an out. Dave Clark is up with one down here in the bottom of the sixth inning. We are almost two-thirds of the way through this game. And uh, Clark with the walk, that's the first time I think he's been on today. And so Orlando Merced is the batter, and he's going to bounce the ball to first base. And McGriff booted the ball. You're not going to see that very often. So now we've got two on with one out and Al Martin up. And that is going to be a ground out to second is what that's going to be. And the runners move up on it, though, so Jeff King is up with a man 90 feet away and another one 180 feet away, and they walk him to get to Slot. Are you crazy? Don Slot? You want to pitch to Don Slot? Yeah, and that's why, because he pops up to shortstop. So we still only have the slimmest of leads at 2-1. to one. And uh, Bill Pakota now is up. Again, he is in for an injured player. I forget who it was. But he's that's an out, and Javi Lopez is the batter. One down quickly for the Braves, and Javi Lopez goes down. There's two down quickly. Lemke, one for two on the day. Nobody on, two down. And it looks like he's going to bounce out to King, and he does. So that's going to be the seventh inning stretch. 
and uh, Zane Smith, the batter. You know what? I am going to, I think I am going to pinch hit for Mr. Smith against Maddox, and we will, um, huh. Who are we going to pinch hit? Well, maybe we won't. If there's nobody that hits well. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do um, this Peegs guy. Steve Peegs. Got a good batting card. Let's see if he can get a base hit. It looks like he is going to fly out to center. So there's one down, and Garcia is the batter. And now Zane Smith, who was pitching great, is going to have to be out of the game. But I'm banking on the Pirates having a good bullpen. Garcia is aboard with one down, and Jay Bell up. And Jay Bell rips the ball between short and third, and I am going to hold the runners this time. So there's two on with one out, and Van Slyke up. And you got to think that Maddox has got to be getting gassed out there. Runners are at the corners with Dave Clark up and two down. He is 0 for 2 today, but he did manage to work a walk. And that's going to be a bounce out to McGriff if he makes the play. Last time he made there, but he doesn't there. So I do have to replace the uh, pitcher. And we are going to go with... Hmm... We don't have a lot of good choices, do we? I, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Starting to think I shouldn't have done that. We're going to bring in Manzanillo. Manzanillo will be the new pitcher. And they're going to send up Jose Oliva to bat against him. And that looks like that is going to be a base hit all the way. That's going to be like a double or a triple right there, a double. So they've got a man aboard, and Gallagher is the batter. And he walks that guy, so now Blouser's up two on, and is that going to be, what is that going to be? That is a sacrifice, so runners move up to second and third with Roberto Kelly up. And that's going to be a rip. And I, that was a very bad decision on my part to take Zane Smith out of this game. Let the ball go through for a play at the plate. And it uh, doesn't work. And so they have Atlanta now has a 3-2 to two lead with McGriff up. And only still only the one out. And Manzanillo can't get anybody out. I mean, the only guy I got out was somebody that was sacrificing himself. This is bad. This is very bad. Double play, though, so he gets out of the inning. But now we're losing by a run. And they're going to bring on Mike Stanton to face Orlando Merced here in the bottom of the eighth. And that is going to be uh, an out. Al Martin is up. And he strikes out. And Jeff King is the batter. Jeff King gets a base hit, so he's going to keep it going for us, keeping the hope alive with Don Slott, the batter. Let's see if they walk him, thinking that I'll let the pitcher bat, and they don't. And what does Slott do? He gets out. So we're going to let Manzanillo try to pitch this inning and try to get out of this, because he's only we're only down by a run. If he can get out of this inning... I can pinch hit for him at the top of the next inning. But he is just having problems getting anybody out. Pakoda has we got the watch on, so he's down to 5%. He won't try it. Out! King made a great move and made the play, and Lemke is the batter with one down and one on. And hopefully that's a ground out. No, it's an E4. Error on Garcia. We did not need that, and now Charlie O'Brien is going to pinch hit here for Mike Stanton. 
And hopefully he can make the play this time. Out. So there's two down. Runners are at second and third. Gallagher up. And he rips the ball to right field. He's going to score both runs. I'm Well, maybe, but I'm going to throw for him anyway, and it didn't work. So now they, they did score both runs. They've got a 5-2 to two lead. And it all came crumbling down because I had to take Zane Smith out of the game and Manzanillo, and then pick Manzanillo, which was perhaps the worst choice I could have made as a pitcher to come in and face these guys. And that might be a home run. And put this game just really clearly out of, uh, yeah, it's 8-2. to two And McGriff is up. And now, I mean, all right. So they're going to send Wollers out to the mound. We've got Manzanillo batting, except that's not going to hold because I am going to pinch hit for him. And we're going to uh, put... I guess pinch hit young. I mean, I don't know because we there's nobody. It's really surprising. They've got nobody good on the bench and they got nobody good in the bullpen. I'm I thought the '94 Pirates were a little better than that, but I might be thinking of a different year. So that's an out, and Garcia is up with one down here, and that is going to be an out. And Jay Bell, three for four on the day. Let's see if he can keep our hopes alive, although our hopes are very thin as it is. And that is going to be an out. And that will end the game, folks. So let's get the box score. Take a look at this mess that I made for myself <laughs> when I took Zane Smith out of the game. Smith went seven. He allowed only one run and five hits. And then Mandanillo came in and for only two innings allowed almost as many hits. And we lose this game 8-2, to two, and that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.